Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to cover an exciting new feature of Tello EDU known as swarming. The swarm feature will allow us to fly multiple Tellos in synchronization through code. Previously, I've covered a lot about Tello hardware on the channel, especially as it relates to drone blocks. And you can see that the form factor of both are very similar, but the difference really lies within the firmware. There is also the ability with Tello EDU to leverage these mission pads, being able to detect these numbers on the pads and then fly on a coordinate reference system associated with this pad. But I really wanted to get into the specifics of swarming because it's not something that's easy to set up and hopefully this video will demonstrate some of the things you need to do to be able to pull this off. You're going to need an access point. Now I purchased one specifically for this task. This is the TP link. I believe it was about $18 on Amazon. It's one of the Amazon basic products. So be sure to take that into consideration. You can certainly use your own access point, but I do highly recommend that if you're using one with other devices on it, it could add to the complexity. I'll explain why here in a few minutes. In this demonstration, we're going to use two Tellos, but I don't know if there's a limit. Maybe you could do 30 Tellos. Certainly five or 10 would be achievable. And the way the whole process will work is we'll configure these two Tellos to connect to the access point, And then we'll also have a laptop, we could have an iPad or an Android device. As long as we can execute Python code, that Python code will issue commands that go through this router to each of the Tello units and be able to control them in synchronization. Let me mention one last thing before we get started. This is not a easy process. There's quite a bit involved in terms of configuring Tello to talk to the access point, as well as figuring out the IP address for each and sending commands. But it's a great learning experience once you understand a little bit about networking. You'll be able to create drone swarms, which is a really cool feature. So let's go ahead and get started. On my Mac, I have a program called Packet Sender. It's a free program. I'll put a link to it below. It's great for being able to send UDP and TCP packets to a device. And if you guys have any programs that you like to use for sending packets, please feel free to add a comment below. Packet Sender I really enjoy because it's available for PC, Mac, as well as iOS and Android. What I'll go ahead and do now is I'm going to power up Tello EDU. The boot up sequence takes about 10 to 15 seconds. And in here you can see Tello listed. My MacBook is connected to the Tello network. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to send a command. This is the SDK command that will put Tello into SDK mode, which will allow us to send all sorts of different commands to it. So you can see that I've sent command and Tello responded with OK. The next thing we'll do is I'll just go ahead and send the battery command. I'll put a link to the SDK document below just so you guys can see all the different commands we can send to Tello. So I'll send a battery. It responds with a 68. And I've gone ahead and pre-saved these just for simplicity purposes. Now here's the most important one. This is a command called AP. We give it the SSID of our access point. In this case, mine's TP-Link. And then with a space, we add the password. This will allow us to configure Tello once it boots up to connect directly to this access point. So I'll go ahead and send that. You can see down here that Tello responded, okay, drone will reboot in three seconds. Now, we no longer have the ability to communicate directly with Tello. We'll have to connect to the access point and do that. Let me go ahead and configure the other Tello EDU drone and then we'll move on to the next step. I have my other Tello EDU. I'm going to power it up. Now I'm going to connect to it. The C54D60 will allow that connection to establish. I'm gonna clear this log and I'll send the command to it. It responds okay. Let's just check its battery. Looks like it's at 87%, which is great. And once again, I'm going to now configure this Tello EDU drone to connect to our access point. Same command, default SSID with a default password, which is printed on the bottom of the access point. Click send. 
Here you can see, okay, drone will reboot in three seconds. Now when both Tello EDU units are powered up, they will look for that network and connect to it. I now have both Tello EDU units powered up. My MacBook is currently connected to that router. I'm going to walk through a couple of different options to figure out the IP addresses of these units. Let's start off with the web admin for the TP-Link. Now, regardless of what router you're using, most of these have a web admin, and this is a very useful thing just for you to get familiar with and see some of the options that will make this discovery a little bit easier. So I'm gonna type in admin and admin, those are the default username and password. If I go to status, the IP address of the TP-Link is 192.168.0 and 1. Now I'm going to go over to DHCP. DHCP is a way that the router will dynamically assign an IP address. You can see that the start IP address will be 100. So we know that our Tello EDU units are going to have an IP address that's either 100 or greater. And another useful thing that a lot of routers have is just a page that shows the clients connected to the router. Now, this would make things super simple, and unfortunately, I don't know why, these Tello EDU units do not show up in this list. Maybe the way they're configured, they're not just seen as uh, traditional network devices. You can see my iMac and my MacBook Pro with a IP address of 100 for the iMac and then 103 for the MacBook Pro. Now once again, if another device were to connect to this network, we would see this probably be associated with 104, then 105 in a sequential order. So that should give us a little bit of info as it relates to determining the IP address of these units. There are two IPs in between 100 and 103, so let's go ahead and try to ping those. Okay, I'm in my Mac terminal. I hope you guys can see that. Tell my screen is a little bit dusty, but going to ping 192.168.0.101. We're getting a reply from that device, so uh, that's good news. And then I'll try 102. We're also getting a reply from that device as well. One simple thing that I can do is I can just turn this Tello off and let me ping 102. That's the Tello that I just powered off. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and ping 101, which should be this other EDU. See it's responding, I'll go ahead and turn it off. And then we should see, yep, there's no reply. So that's one way you can just sort of randomly ping to figure out the IP address of these units. The other option for those that are interested in a Python approach, I've created a repository, I'll be putting some scripts in there as it relates to Tello EDU. We'll do a network scan. In this case, we're using this IP address. You might need to modify this to uh, match the IP address of your network. It will scan the subnet, so from one all the way to 255 and tell us whether or not devices are connected. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but let's go ahead and run this. So I pulled the code from GitHub. I'm going to just run the Python. It's called network scan script, and it will essentially go through every IP address in the subnet. If you recall, the router doesn't actually assign IP addresses until we get to 100. As the script runs, you'll see a bunch of IPs listed as offline. And you can see here that we have 101, 102. I'm going to stop this. See here that we have 101 is online, 102 is online, and 103 is online. I believe 100 and 103 were my computers, and then 101 and 102 were new devices. So we're going to assume those are Tello units, and now what we can do is double check that. Let's quickly review where we are. We have both Tello EDU units talking to the access point. My MacBook is also connected to that access point. I've gone ahead and put scotch tape with labels on each. I encourage you guys to do that. If you're setting these up, this is a IP address .101 and .102. So now what we'll do is we're going to actually send individual commands to these guys just to make sure that we can communicate to them through this access point. And then we'll follow up with just a simple Python demonstration of controlling both in a swarm configuration. Now what we'll do is send a command to each of the Tello units just to make sure that they're listening, that we can communicate through the access point. Now this is my MacBook connected to the TP-Link access point. And by default, you may recall that the IP address when connected directly to Tello is 192.168.10.1. One. 
but we just learned that through the access point, our first unit will be 0.101. So I have this guy, I'm going to send the standard command string to put it into SDK mode. I'll click send, and you can see now the light is green, blinking, telling us that it's in SDK mode. And let me go ahead and change this command string. I'll just issue a battery, question mark, hit send over here, and then down here you can see there's 89 percent battery left. Now with the other unit, the 102 unit, I'll just go ahead and change this back to our command string so that we can put it into SDK mode. I'll change that to 102, have it here, I'll click send, and now we're in SDK mode. Once again, I'll just issue a battery to this guy just to make sure we have good communication and you can see that it responds with 88%. Okay, this is how it's gonna work. Have the two Tello EDU units on the ground. Box mission, this is actually modified code from our original drone blocks uh, in Tello Python lessons. And this is just a simple modification that includes the addresses of both units as well as ports so we can receive responses from Tellos. And essentially what we do is each time that we send a message, we make sure to send the message to both units. As we demonstrated earlier, we have the IP address of each unit. So our Python script will send the commands, they'll go to both units, and we'll see the swarm capability in action. Currently, my MacBook Pro is connected to the access point, have the Python script ready to go, and Tello EDUs are both connected to that access point as well. Since we're flying in this box pattern, I do have the Tello ED units facing away from each other. So I'll go ahead and run the Python script. Currently running. Issue the mission. Both Tello EDU drones landed pretty close to each other, so we have a successful box mission. One thing to consider as you're programming these swarm missions is you gotta make sure that you don't have missions that overlap that might cause the drone to run into each other, especially as you swarm with more than two drones. So that was the overview of swarming with Tello EDU and two drones. Once again, we configure them, talk to the access point, then we figured out their IP addresses. There are probably other ways to do that. If you guys have any tips or tricks as it relates to determining IP address, please share them below. I'll be sure to update the Python script in the future to make it easier. Maybe the script could send a little packet to Tello to determine not only is it online, but also is it a Tello EDU unit. We'll put some additional scripts in the GitHub repository that shows not only swarming, but mission pads. I'll share an update on that in the future. Thank you for sticking with it and following along. I know it was a long overview, but wanted to make sure you had a good understanding of how this works. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.